new to boss.com this is Ty we're doing a video again right now and on this video I'd like to share to you and how you could make use of a silence feature or a filter uh, generate silence on any audio recording or audio edit that you're doing using your Adobe Audition CS6 uh, there's a little bit of a question right there why would you want to generate silence uh, let's say uh, let me just demo that using this file right here. This is a raw file that we've used, I mean recorded and used for some videos that we've uploaded on YouTube. If you'd want to have a listen to that, then just look that up from the list of the videos that we have. Right now, what you'd want to do first is open up Adobe Audition CS6. Uh, older versions would do, and um, also some other audio editing or audio recording software would be okay. I'm just not versed and not pretty sure if you can find that on the same console. So right now, again, this is version CS6. What you do is open up your file path where you can find your mp3 file it's not restricted to just an mp3 you can use any file type as long as it's an audio file alright you also can output that or convert that or save that with whatever file type you like using your Adobe Audition CS6 what I would want to just show you right now is just generating silence on some gaps or putting in some gaps using silence so you don't move much or you don't cut your uh, voice span or audio span click on this file drag that in there drop it and it's going to be converted into a wave form click on home on your keyboard to be sure that you're on the inception point play it I really need to talk to you right now I'm having troubles with cooking noodles uh, I need your help there you go. It's a phone conversation that we've recorded. Uh, if you're going to take a look at the length right here, I would say 5.5. Again, bring it back to home. I really, you know, it's running at 482. Talk to you right now, going up to one. I'm having troubles with cooking. Going up to two seconds. Uh, going up to four. I need your help. Going up to 5.5. Let's say you are limited. You are not allowed to cut that, but there's something of a mistake right here. You'd want to remove this part. You just would want to silence that, right? You don't want any audio element in there. Just exactly silence, all right? Or pre uh, probably you'd want to delete this part. But take a look at here. Remember, uh, the length is 5.5. If you delete this part, highlight, press delete on your keyboard, and you just left off with 2.851 for the file. Control Z to bring it back. There you go. So you deleted almost half of it. If you also generate, just generate silence on this part, then you don't lose that seconds that you would be needing, but you just have erased that part. But then you would get a gap from here to here no talking no audio alright so that's the purpose you'd want to generate silence again for whatever reason you'd want to do that you have that exact good reason why you're doing that again let's try it right now you'd want to erase this or silence this let's make it a little bit uh, larger for the span this part right here highlight uh, click your mouse right here sorry click here Put your playhead to wherever you'd want to have it started, or you could zoom that out to make it a little bit larger so you can see everything. Let me drag it here so we could have it centered. Now put your playhead uh -huh. to wherever you want to start generating silence. Click, hold, drag, going up to the right side, probably up until in there. Now play it. Space bar on your keyboard. Uh, I need your help. All right, so that's the part right here that you'd want to delete, right from here to here. Not exactly delete, sorry, but just generate silence, sort of like erase this part right here. So you want to go to effects right on top, 
to look up something in there that says silence right here. Get an effect, silence, and take a look at this part right here. Uh, let me just go back and make it really small so you can see all the file, I mean all the audio elements right there. Alright, so fix your eyes on this part. Go to effects, then hover on silence. Now if you press on that, there you go. So it's empty now. You can't, if you play it, that's purely silence. Alright, but notice back again here, put your playhead right at the end part. You still have 5.5 for the time span. So again, that's how you can generate silence for whatever purpose you have for your audio recording. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, for some of the video tutorials, you can check out www.newtoboss.com and on our YouTube channel, please do subscribe, youtube.com slash newtoworks. Again, my name's Ty. Thanks for watching.